You are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Backdome. This is the number one live business show in all of North Carolina. I know, I know those of you out there thinking, no way. It's not possible. Just don't want to believe it. Okay. In that case, <laughs> let me tell you what we got going on. We've been doing this show 11 years strong. Still going at it. We have well over 865 small business interviews uh, with uh, small business owners and community uh, leaders over the years. We have well over, I don't even know, Julie, how many we got? We got 650 videos on our YouTube channel, you can go to JoeVagnoneBusinessBroker.com. Again, JoeVagnoneBusinessBroker.com on the YouTube channel. Uh, I know it's it's well over uh, 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 600 and something videos that we have. We are live on the book, live on the tubes, live on the X, live on any kind of podcast that you want to you wanna check out as well. And also, we are live on the WSIC app. Um and so I challenge you to find somebody doing all manner of all that for small business people going on 11 years. Um, also, we are coming to you live from the Burner Cigar Studio. Burner's is the home of the finest premium cigars and cigar smokers in the world. Great people. Premium cigars, life is good at Burner Cigars, are located in Burkdale Village and also on Highway 16 in Denver. Go on by there uh, and uh, tell them Joe sent you and your first cigar is on me. We hope to inspire, inform, and entertain you because that's what we do here at News Talk WSIC. 105.9 FM, 100.7 FM, 1400 AM. I am Joe Vagnone and you are listening to Local Biz Now where you're Business matters. And every month, we have a different co-host. This month, it is no exception. We have my friend, whether he will admit it or not, Chris Villani. He is the founder of Rise of the Super Athlete. Yes. And Chris has been with us all month, and he will continue to be with us. Chris, my friend, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Absolutely. Love the opportunity. I mean... It's my honor to be with somebody 11 years doing this. Huh? 11 I can't believe years. you can imagine the amount it of is knowledge. Hard to it's, an ex- it's, like, it's almost like an encyclopedia set of the A to Z, what to do and what not to do, and the lessons you can learn. I mean, think for anybody who wants to get into business, this would be a, something, a resource they would tap into. And, and uh, you know, you've been with me over the years. Matter of yeah. fact, you are the top yeah. co host that yeah. we have had yeah. uh, over the years right. uh, that, that you've been on. And, and to me, if you go to the to the uh, 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 YouTube channel, what you'll see is we've broken them up into different um, scenarios, whether it's marketing, in yep. your case, it's it's coaching and, and motivation, right. education, that sort of stuff. Yeah. We've had small business events over the years, yep. and we've got those events on there. It's people that have written a lot of books yeah. and that sort of stuff. Most of, if not all of, is business-related, yep. small business-related. Yeah. That's my gig. That's my thing. And you kind of fit right into that. What's well, interesting, yeah. um, your business is helping mostly um, college athletes, it's, high school it's athletes. It's probably high school, about 11 years on up. It's usually the athlete that's trying to do like um, they're either a really good high-performing athlete, trying to get to like an All-American level, scholarship level, pro level. Um, there's somebody who um, wants to do something that's big, the nation um, so I, but I work with all types and, but we talk about the mindset, the mindset of the people, when you talk about business, it's the same thing. That's how do you become the that. best? Uh, how do you have an Olympic type mindset to go after what you're trying to do? And along the pitfalls, what the lessons you can learn and how would that person look at something? Whereas other people won't. And, and, and that, that's where I was headed. Yeah. You and I over the years have learned yeah. that your athletes that want to be Great. That's right. right. They're already good. Yep. They know they're good yeah. when they come yeah. to you, right? Yeah. They want to be great. Yeah. They want to perform at a level that right. they see in their mind's right. eye is right. exceptional, yes. right? I see business people just like same that. Same thing. How are you going to stand out with right. and not be like the same old coffee shop? Right. What separates you like a Starbucks or something else out right. there? And this is the way you can do it. Define who you, what it is, how you want to do it, and market to your. Here's a lot what's interesting, and you and I can probably talk about this. A lot of people get into business, and they don't define who they're really marketing to, and they become lost in noise. 
Whereas if you have somebody like uh, Apple uh, or someone like Richard Branson, everyone knows who they are, but everyone else kind of gets lost in the noise. You kind of take and just remove the noise and make them shine. Right. Yeah. So, okay. So everybody that is used to the show knows that Julie, who's been with me nine and a half years, um, I've been a business broker for well over 27 years or so. Julie's been uh, with me for about nine years and uh, she follows us on Facebook. And that is what I watch when I'm on the show live um, so I can see people communicate with them. So if you want to communicate with us, uh, go to Facebook and uh, WSIC website, uh, Facebook, and uh, I'll be I'll be happy to to sort of communicate with you. So Julie wanted to remind me today is yes eleven year anniversary. Wow, today. Wow. So wow, eleven years. <laughs> yeah, today, uh, and we have six hundred and sixty nine videos. Wow. On wow. our YouTube channel, um, y- you know, Wilton, <laughs> you really could do better than that. You, you know, I mean, if that's the best you got, Wilton. For Wilton, you've been here eleven days. I've been there eleven years, and that's the best you got for me. Is a little man, 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 man. I mean, this should be like some sort. Of... <laughs> I think that's Wilton pushing on a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that, that's the respect I get around yeah. here. After eleven years, that's the best I get. At least you get some mean? respect. That's right. That's right. We're Rodney Dangerfield. Got no right. respect. So, so it is uh, six hundred and sixty-nine videos. Yeah. Uh, go to Joe Vagnone, business broker, uh, on YouTube. Please subscribe to that. We would appreciate that. We'll be able to uh, send you out these videos. All the videos of all the co-hosts and what they have to say um, is on those uh, as well. When we come back from the break, you're going to teach us something. I am. What are you going to teach us when we come back from the break? We're going to learn something about one of the, uh, you have to learn, if you want to be great, you've got to kind of be, step outside the norm and be a little. Peculiar. Ah, different. And we're going to talk <laughs> about that. I'm going to give an example of what that is and how to create that because you don't want to get lost in the noise. You know, it's funny because I hear people all the time say, I want to be normal. I want to be like everybody else. And I've never felt that way. Like I've always known if I'm going to surpass yesterday, I got to be a little bit different. Yeah. Because if I'm like everybody else, then there's no, no passing anybody. Absolutely. Interesting. Oh, it's going to be fun. Okay. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnone, where we hope to inspire, inform, and entertain you, because that's what we do here at uh, Local Biz Now. And if it is Monday afternoon, say it, say it, say it, Chris. Your business matters. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. We'll Wilson return to local no business count, now. No good for nothing. Aggravating. A little kazoo. 11 years, and that's the best Wilton got is a little kazoo. He was making fun of me. I was just getting used to JoJo, and now Wilton come back with the with the kazoo. Julie, I want to file a formal protest on Wilton. Who do I who do I have to file that with? <laughs> <laughs> Who do I got to follow that with? <laughs> William, you go by William or Bill? William, nice to meet you, Joe Vagnone. Chris Blonnie, William. You just heard how the show goes, so if you if you want to leave, now's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> no, good. The only thing I need you to be aware of is just the uh, volume control. Here is your WSIC community calendar. Lime Tree and Lake Norman in Mooresville presents Vegas McGraw. He got his own podcast. He knows how to do it. He could run that board without you right now. The Lime Tree Live free concert series powered by Waves Entertainment. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. Vegas McGraw. Center Stage Alliance holds the Bluegrass. Hey, well, could you get me my water? It was it was on the counter, I think. I, I made it, but I didn't bring it. The Aradale County Fair. My mouth got a little dry making fun of you. Julie told me to leave Wilton alone. Ages, competitive 4-H exhibits and animal shows, the magic of Lance Gifford, and much more. The fair runs through what do you say? Bottle or cup? It was a cup. 
Exactly. I think I was sitting right there by the coffee machine. Six and under are free. Carnival ride tickets and risk. When we appreciate you coming in, buddy. Enjoy the Iredell County Fair for you. You're not late. The first half of the show was a co-host. Second half is all yours. So you're you didn't miss it. We didn't miss you one bit. Thanks, man. Main Street businesses will feature handmade items produced by the social district and enjoy live music at the crazy pig stage on 402 Davidson beginning at 2 p.m. On September 7th, see the top riders okay. from the Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship as they compete on a custom built course at Zenax Dragway. The playoff opener features a two moto format for the Well, I'm not sure. You see the one that says 128, 129. Up. Up. It goes 29, then it goes to the 10. The 10 is the intro. Right, so we got 23 seconds of the intro. 23, and then we go to the intro. Intro. That's cool. I don't know. I can't understand the darn thing. Visit CharlotteMotorSpeedway.com. Or the CMS app for information okay. and details. To keep up with all the events happening around the community, <laughs> the more, including amazing uh, uh, news, the WSIC news app today. Now more local biz now with Joe Begnone on 105.9 100.7 WSIC. Local starts here. Yeah. Number one live fitness show in North Carolina. You are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnone, and this is where your business matters. We are live every Monday afternoon here in the Burner Cigar Studio. Uh, hopefully, you will stop by Burner Cigar in Burkdale and, and on uh, Highway 16 and tell them uh, Joe sent you. Stop by there. Just a great group of people. Uh, we were saying before. Uh, we were uh, rudely interrupted by a horrible <laughs> celebratory uh, sound um, that we've been doing this show 11 years today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wilton is doing that just to bother me. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Chris, you've been at least seven or eight times I'm, I'm, yeah, easy. Uh, th um, that you've been on. It's, it's been a lot. It kind of is one of those things where it's kind of like Christmas keeps coming around every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, so uh, before we went to break, yeah. um, I, I made it clear to everybody that the co-host must prevent us, must. Uh, uh, present us with some kind of information to inspire, inform, yeah. and entertain us. So, what you got for us, buddy? Well, today we're going to talk about something that's really kind of cool. Um, I love it, and this is going to be while it's targeted towards athletes, we'll also go towards business people. So, take notes. So, uh, May sixth of nineteen fifty four. Can you guess what happened on that day? And don't go ahead and shoot out anything. So what's the date again? May 6th, 1954. Well, seeing as though I was not alive, I don't think I had the I have to answer that question. Okay. Okay. But that was the Olympics. That was uh, the first Olympics. It wasn't that, but it's close. It's something was that's it? gonna be was like it? that. Okay. May okay. 6th, 1954, something was done that people never thought could ever be done. Scientists didn't think it could be done. Medical doctors didn't think it could be done. The whole world never thought it could be done. But then one day, someone did something so amazing that we have now people are doing it almost like it's a daily occurrence. And well, I was going to say walk on the moon, but that uh, ain't going to work, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's about that incredible. It's about that. It's almost that kind of We same can't get thing them back here. home. Yeah. We, we can get them there. We right. just can't get them home yet. Right. right. Okay. So back on that day, a guy named Roger Bannister did something. He, created the, he did the four minute mile. And the four-minute mile before then had never been done, according to history, what we can find out about it. What's really interesting is people, scientists, medical people, and he was, by the way, he was a medical. He was, a, he was in the medical, he was in the med medical uh, field, said this could never be done. But he had the audacity to say, you know what, try me. And he did, he did something, he figured it out, he trained for it, and he made that happen. And up until now, we have over 1,700 people have already done the four-minute mile. Now, this is pretty interesting. Why is it that to one time it was possible, and now it wasn't possible, now it is possible? Right. And then open, all of a sudden, the people are like, well, well, why even try to, yes, we can do it now. Right. Here's where this becomes important. Because if you're in business or if you're an athlete, you must believe the impossible to make it happen. You must have the audacity. Someone like a Richard Branson, um, uh, Bill Gates, whoever out there, Elon Musk, to go out there and attack what you're going to go attack. So we're going to talk about you what, like Branson because you talk I, I about him a lot. I, I, don't he's because he's a rebel, and it's the same thing with uh, you know uh, Apple, with Steve Jobs. These guys are rebels. They kind of think a little bit different. They right. think, well, can we do it? Everyone's going to say, who are you? Who are you? Who do you think you are? And they're the people. I'm the guy that's going to show you different. I'm the girl that's going to show you different. We saw this thing with um, 
Well, with the Wright brothers, right? They told him, we're going to fly. What if God wanted you to fly, he would have given you wings. But yet here we are. We can fly around the world and go to different places because someone believed something that was not seen, made it credible, and happened. Here's where this is really important. So what this comes down to is a level of belief. Now, belief has a couple of different components. We're going to talk about what the belief is. Um, we're going to talk about why um, you need to change beliefs, and then we're going to talk about how to do it on a, on a level that makes you stand out. Because we talk about this. When you have your, you know, your business, you're talking to businesses who want to stand out. But this is going to be the same thing, too. You can try to do everything, but if you don't change your belief, you won't stand out. You'll mix in like the other people. Our goal here, I know the goal with my company, performing, uh, Rise of Super Athletes, a performance coach in Unleashed, we believe that everybody is, has the audacity to stand out in their own unique way. And that's what, we, that's what we always strive for every single time we get there. Why? Because they don't want to be unique. Typically, anyone who is a high performer always thinks they're unique, right or wrong. And maybe there's a little bit of, uh, you know, pious to that or something that's to that. Right. But they always believe that they have something well, better. I, you know, I can remember when you and I were talking about a year and a half ago, I was laughing. Yeah. And I was saying, you know, Chris, my son. Yes, it's wants, a great example. He wants to start, uh, you know, powerlifting. Right. And he told me he wanted to break the North Carolina record. Absolutely. And I remember laughing yeah. at him yeah. as I was describing that to you. Right. And then I said, but I don't want to discourage him. And you kept this straight face and you said, Joe, wh why do you doubt that? Yeah. I mean, right. you had this look like, yeah. I can't believe you're laughing at your son. Keep in mind, before then, I don't think he lifted anything heavier than a sandwich. Right. Right? <laughs> you know, like I, we did, that's, this, this is what happens. So people look at the past. His had the confidence. That's and right. He just started heading in that direction. Right. And now, lo and behold, he really does hold the North Carolina uh, deadlift record, 661 pounds. You believed yes. that yes. when he said it. Right. Because you met him and you said, yeah. Joey has something. Yeah. I didn't see it. Right. What is it? Okay. What, what is that? So let's look at the Roger Bannister. It's called the Bannister effect. And the reason is, is no one up until that time, they, they just believed that, well, it hasn't been done before, so it can't be done in the future. Remember, if you don't have a vision of the future, you will default to the past. If the past does not operate or give you a way to um, get be successful in the future, you're, we already know what's going to happen. He created a new success. Now, we're going to talk about how he did that in a second here. But you must have a goal of what you want. How do you want to attack it? And, of course, the steps to make sure that you can make corrections along the way. So here's but, what... But, and, and you said that you could kind of tell that there's some yes. kids that say it yep. but don't mean it. 100%. And there's some kids that right. just you could just tell. Yes. Like you said, you could see right. it in my son. He absolutely believed it. Right. What is, what is that? Because I, I sure couldn't see it. Right. If you ever watch, like, uh, I, mean, I, loved, I love doing this. I love um, watching video of uh, Michael Jordan talk about how he does it or, uh, you know, Tom Brady or Kobe Bryant. They always, when they're doing it, it's like, no, I'm here. I do this. This is who I am. It's, it's very much, and it an, we talked about arrogant. I, it is. And it's it, Michael, people, you love or hate Michael Jordan, but you knew he can be successful with them. Tom Brady, same thing. Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk, you know, when you're in the room with them, that no matter what, these guys are going to figure your way. There's no, well, they're going to talk about this now, but give them 10 minutes and they'll be, you know, doing something right. different. You know that they're very much and, that and, person. And, you know, and I, we're not, you know me, we're not going to get into politics, but right. but that same arrogance comes yes. about comes out in a Trump yeah. or a Michael Bloomberg, yes. you know? And so if they choose to focus right. it in any part of their life, right. you can see the yes. arrogance when it's really, it's arrogance for us, yes. but to them, it's absolute, right? Yes. I mean, they believe it. Yeah. And there's also intelligence with it. That's the other part. You can't just have, I can't have the area that I can go jump off a building and fly. It's not going to happen. So there has to be intelligence involved here. So you're mixing somebody who has a goal. They're intelligent about the ways that they're going to attack it. And they do it a thousand times so they figure it out. What was it that, um, you know, when they did the light bulb, they just like, oh, look, I only found 900, 9,990 ways of not doing the light bulb. Right. It's the same thing here. These people have such a vision. They're like, okay, this is where I've got to go. I'm committed. Here's what I'm going to do. There's a discipline is, I'm, I'm and make a systematic it approach if, to how I want to get right. there. If I can't figure it out, I'm going to figure out the right coaches, the right people, the right trainers. I mean, Tom Brady did this later in his career when he found a different um, throwing coach. Why? You already do great. He's like, I know I needed to adjust to make sure that I'm doing winning the Super Bowls. That's who I am. That's what I do. So here's what we do. The very first part of this is I want everybody, if you're looking to get to be that person, to be that brand, to be that um, amazing person that breaks that four mile, uh, four minute mile barrier. And this is what we're trying to do. You have to rewrite the future. So here's what you're going to do. I want you to one, you're going to this, uh, what I call auditing your beliefs. 
very first step is, is I want you to identify your current beliefs that you have as yourself, and this is an athlete, but you can take this as a business person. Right. What that looks like is this. I want you to write down what are your current beliefs, ideas, and thoughts that you have as an athlete. You need you to write those down, okay? Um, I want you to write down both the good and I want you to write down the bad because you have to be honest with yourself. And here's the reason why. People, well, here's all the good the, reasons. The, the sac- bad meaning sacrifices uh, I will well, have to yeah, have. Well, yeah, because you know, some people say, well, I don't want to think of myself as a failure. Right. I mean, we, I, we don't want it, I mean, but my, we know my, it's my there. My son's in the gym, right. you know, three to four hours right. a, a day, five yeah. days a week. That's a negative. Would, and they would will have it because a right. lot of athletes never think they're good enough. In fact, everyone I've worked with is always high performing, always believe that there's something behind there that I'm, I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. That's the scary part. And it, some people try to run away from that. Don't. What is it trying to tell you? It can actually serve you. So figure out what it is. Okay, okay, now I identified it. Now I can see what's going on. Here's the second part of this. Now you're going to evaluate what those current beliefs are. So what are the current beliefs and of those beliefs that are good and bad? Once you've done that, how are they helping you grow as an athlete or not? Even bad um, beliefs have benefits. And what I mean by this is some people say, well, I have a belief that, well, maybe, you know, it's okay to rest or it's okay to do certain things and maybe I'll wait or whatever else. That's serving you because it's solving an emotional need that says, you know what, I'm not sure what to do. It has an anxiety attached, whatever. So you want you to evaluate that. But here's what I want you to do. When you see your beliefs and you're really looking at them, are they helping you find opportunities? Because your beliefs must be a way that can help you um, find opportunities around you. And I want you to be able to go, if I'm working out, if I'm meeting people, if I'm training, if I'm talking to coaches, and if it's in business, if I'm out meeting people, how am I finding opportunities? The bigger the belief, the more clear it is, the, more, the, the better you'll be finding opportunities. And if you're not, how to make corrections. Number three, become unstoppable. This is where you're going to design new beliefs that take you to the next level. Here's what I mean. I want you to define what your goal is at the next level. I want you to go, if I'm at this next level, what beliefs do I have to have to grow as an athlete? That's important. What do I have to have as an athlete to have this? What beliefs do I need to replace? And then, of course, the last part of it is, what, who, this is the great part, who do I have to become to make this possible? And that's where I'll end this right here. And, and, you that's, do where, that. and that's where you gave me the, yes. Joe, we're going to start a new Joe yes. 2.0, right? right? You, you, were, you were trying to get me to get my mind if I to got think you there, someplace else. If I, got, if I said this, Joe, you're going to be hanging out with Elon Musk. I'm guaranteeing you're going to live your life different every day because he's always going to be asking, what are you doing, Joe? Right. And this I want to people, if they can go and go, who do I have to become? And they start reverse engineering that, they'll start changing. Right. That's probably the very most important part. If you can figure out who do I need to become to make this happen, You'll figure it out. Right. Yeah. It, you know, speaking of that, I listen a lot to the whole NASA thing and yeah. trying to bring bring the uh, uh, astronauts home. And they are, re- you know, uh, Boeing is very embarrassed yep. that SpaceX yep. is the one going to be going. Yeah. <laughs> you are listening to Local Biz Now. We'll be right back. 